Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. In today's journey, we are now at Little London in the parish of Westmoreland. And we are heading towards Savannah Lamar. Also in the parish of Westmoreland. Now, based on historical data, Little London, it was given that name by the British because it reminded them of a hill near to the London Bridge. In the early years, Little London was home to many Chinese families who moved into the area during the 19th century, as also the Indians who came as indentured laborers between 1845 and 1917. Some of Little London's most prominent residents include a Chinese businessman, Tarzan Lee. He was the first to have a Delco plant in his shop to provide electricity. Another man named George Muyong. He was a rice farmer and he owned his own rice mill. Now, did you know that for many years, the Cayman Islands was under the control of Jamaica's Westmoreland Parish Council? Yes, man, it was. Back then, the Westmoreland Parish Council was managing the Cayman Islands for the British. That relationship ended in 1959. So, continue to sit back, continue to relax, and continue to enjoy this journey with me. Now, that queen on your screen, her name is Miss Zona Luars. Miss Zona, she celebrated her birthday yesterday. Miss Zona, she was the post missus at the Kentucky Postal Agency for many, many years. Miss Zona, your children, your grandchildren, your great grandchildren, as also your great great grandchildren, they had asked us to wish you happy birthday yesterday. Miss Zona, no respect, no, no, no respect. Miss Zona. Bless up yourself. Wishing you long life and good health. Now, in this first incident, this one took place last night. Tuesday, September 27th, 2022, about some minutes to 10 o'clock. It took place at Hermitage in the Betteltown area in the parish of Westmoreland. We are learning that a man, he goes by the name Ryan and he's said to be in his early 20s. We are told that Ryan... He had turned up at a hospital in western Jamaica, suffering from gunshot wounds to one of his hands. He reported that he was coming from a shop in his community when he was attacked and shot. He has been treated and was admitted in a stable condition. We are told that the Betteltown police, they are carrying out investigation. In this next incident, this one took place Monday afternoon. Monday, September 26th, 2022, about some minutes after 2 o'clock. It took place at a place named Canaan in the parish of Anova. We are learning that a lady, she's known as Miss Leslie. And Miss Leslie, she celebrated her 59th birthday on Friday, September 23. Miss Leslie, she lives in the same Canaan district. Now, this incident... It took place in broad daylight. So, Miss Leslie, she was clearly the target for this hoodlum. Our information is that Miss Leslie, she was walking along the road when she was approached by a lone hoodlum. This hoodlum, he brandished a gun and opened gunfire, shooting Miss Leslie five times. She received gunshot wounds to her abdomen and her hands. The hoodlum, he then made good his escape. Now, the police, they were called and we are told that when they went to the scene, they saw Miss Leslie. She was lying along the roadway, bleeding. She was rushed to a nearby hospital where she has since been admitted in a serious condition. Now, when we made checks this morning, we are told that Miss Leslie, she's still here with us. And let's hope that she stays here with us because our information is that this lady... She wasn't known to be involved in any conflict with anyone. So the question is, why was she targeted? Because 
she was clearly targeted. So who is it that wanted this lady dead? And why? Why may I tell you? Now, this incident, it is sad, sad, sad indeed. It took place early this morning. Wednesday, September 28, 2022, about some minutes after 3 o'clock. It took place at Helsha in Portmore in the parish of St. Catherine. We are learning that a man, he is a 51-year-old haulage contractor. He's living at home with his family. This family includes his wife. She's said to be in her late 40s and their son. That's him on your screen. His name is Rahim Shah and he's 15 years old. He's a student at Woolmers High School. We are learning that the father, Mr. Shah, he's a licensed firearm holder. It is said that he and his wife, they were asleep when his wife, she was awoken by strange sounds at the front gate. She then heard the front veranda grill being opened. As a result, she woke up her husband and told him what she was hearing. Mr. Shah, he got up, picked up his gun and went out into the living room. By this time, it is said that he heard the front door being opened. Bam, bam, bam! Mr. Shah, he fired three shots through the front door. When he made checks, he realized that it was his son, 15-year-old Raim, who had apparently slipped out of the house and was now making his way back into the house after 3 o'clock this morning. The panicked mother and father... They rushed Rahim to the Spanish Town Hospital, but it was too late. He was D-E-A-D on arrival. Boy, may I tell you, that one here, <laughs> really rough. Can you just imagine what mommy and daddy are going through? It is really, really rough. In the final story for today, hear this now. On the morning of Saturday, March 6th, 2021 some minutes to 11 o'clock that man on your screen his name is arsenio sams but he was popularly known as shaba he was 28 years old and he was a shopkeeper of red ground in negril in the parish of westmoreland shaba he was at a construction site at red ground where a house was being built by one of his friends known as jason it is said that Shaba's girlfriend. She came and she was talking to Shaba on the outside of the house. Whilst they were there talking, it is said that two hoodlums came on the scene. They brandished guns and opened gunfire. Jason, Shaba and Shaba's girlfriend, they were all hit. It is also said that either Shaba or Jason or someone else in the house, they had an illegal gun and they returned the fire. The two hoodlums, they escaped in nearby bushes. The police, they were called and Jason. He was found suffering from gunshot wounds to his right thigh. Shaba's girlfriend, she received gunshot wounds to her abdomen. And Shaba, he received gunshot wounds to his back. The police rushed all three of them to the Savannah Lamar Hospital where Shaba he was pronounced D-E-A-D. -E Jason and Shaba's girlfriend, they were admitted and eventually released from hospital. Now, we are learning that whilst the police was processing this crime scene where the three persons were shot, they were alerted by residents to a trail of blood leading to the bushes. The police, they followed the trail of blood and a search of the area was conducted. During this search, the police found a man lying on his back with gunshot wounds to his right thigh. From all indication, that man, he had bled to death. He was identified as that man on your screen. His name is Devon Mosley. He was popularly known as Bandu. He was 28 years old and he lived in the same red ground area of Negril. Now, word on the street at the time of this incident is that Bandu... He was one of the hoodlums who had gone and attacked Shaba, Jason and Shaba's girlfriend. Word on the street also is that 
Bando. He was shot by either Shaba or Jason, who he and the other person had gone and attacked. Word on the street is that whilst he was trying to escape, he fell in the bushes and he bled to death. Now, we are reliably informed that at the time Bandu died, his hands were swabbed for gunshot residue. I will leave that one right there. So, the next incident I'm going to be telling you about. We have no information that they are connected, but you know how we do things already. We like to put things in context so you can have a better understanding. Now, that man on your screen, but wait there. <laughs> wait there, wait there, wait there. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? Have you touched? Uh, yeah, man, you touched it already? <laughs> okay. So have you subscribed to the channel as yet? If you have not yet subscribed, remember, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified. So, like I was saying, that man on your screen, his name is Edward Mosley, but he's popularly known as Eddie. Eddie was 29 years old and he lived at Red Ground in Negril. Eddie and Bandu, both of them are brothers. You got that? Eddie and Bandu, who was shot and bled to death in bushes, both of them are brothers. So, last night, Eddie, he was at a bar on the Negril Beach Road. This bar is at the Happy Quarters guest house. It was formerly called Barbie Barn. The bar is on the beach. So, Eddie and other persons, they were sitting at the bar having a drink when we are told that a hoodlum walked up. He was dressed in full black. It is said that this hoodlum, he went to the bar and ordered a Heineken. He was given the Heineken. He paid for it and then he walked away. A few moments later, the same hoodlum returned to the bar. But this time, he had a gun in his hand. He put the gun to Eddie's head and squeezed. We are told that even when Eddie fell to the ground, the hoodlum was still firing. The hoodlum, he then ran away, making good his escape. From all indication, Eddie, he died on the spot. But it wasn't Eddie alone that was shot. A lady who is in her late 30s and from another parish, she was also at the bar. She received gunshot wounds to her left foot. She was transported to a nearby hospital where this lady, she was treated and admitted. We are told that when the police processed this crime scene, nine 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Popeye News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick silver sin. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be.
Who will listen to me a word, yeah? Crime it a mash up Jamaica Criminals, they a mash up Jamaica